We made it to Chautauqua, where we'll be here for three days. It's a little chilly. It's cold, it's probably 50 degrees out. Where are we parked at? Parked at the cemetery. <laughs> We're gonna be exploring a bike trail first, and then we'll be going to the, the Chautauqua Institute. Institute. So, here we go. Where are you at? Huh? Where are you? I'm in the cemetery. Where are you? Well, I'm at the road now. Oh, okay. I'm coming up to the road. Lost. I lost you. Wow. All right. I'll see ya. Okay, bye. Bye. We are definitely not prepared for fall riding. <laughs> Freezing. Let's find a Dollar General. I'm officially freezing. Heidi, I think I just saw a snowflake. <laughs> Hurry. Bike ride number two. It's much warmer out. Checking out the houses. We are in Chautauqua at the Institute. And it's pretty amazing. He's taking me on the hills.
Hey Dave, do you think anybody knows what this is? <laughs> it works! Oh my gosh! <laughs> do you have a quarter? No. Oh, we don't. No one cares. <laughs> we only have Bitcoin. <laughs> A cartwheel. Which one do you think I should get? Do you even do you even see one that you like? You don't care, do you? <laughs> so we're at the Chautauqua bookstore looking at everything but books. <laughs> so we just left the bookstore. I didn't buy any books, but I got a really pretty bracelet, which is super cool. And so we're at Chautauqua, which um which is kind of crazy because it's for people that are like educated. <laughs> and religious yeah, here we are. yet here we are right and but it's the coolest place like there's all these really cool buildings um we just on top of the bookstore i don't know if you can see here there's dave hi dave say hi it's raining there's dave it's raining but that doesn't stop us from adventures as you know so anyway we were there and there is a post office here at chautauqua lake um the post office is the only place that has chautauqua so the people that live here and people only live here summer round and wait till you see some of these houses. It's crazy. But they pick up their mail here at the post office. Anywhere other than right here in this gated community with, I don't know, million dollar homes, they have a different zip code in a different place. Now, if we walk around the grounds, you can see that there is this really, really cool uh, fountain, although I don't think that there's any water in it. But it has, what it's doing is to the arts. And so there's different places and different buildings here that they bring people in. They have their own opera. And so there's music, there is religion. How this place started is the coolest thing. There was actually a camp meeting. Now, way back when, uh, like in the early 1900s, what they would do is they would have these, literally, they would have tent cities. Not tent cities like I would see in Los 
Angeles, but tent cities where people would come and they would hear these preachers and they would talk about revival and they would talk about Jesus. And, and that's what this was at first. And there would be thousands of tents that would come in to hear these speakers. And over time, it, it kind of, they got rid of the tents and they started making buildings. And, and so it became a place of education. It became a place where Sunday school teachers would come and they would learn how to teach curriculum. Because back in the early 1900s, there really wasn't a whole lot of public school. So those farm kids, they would come to Sunday school and that's how they learned how to read and to write. And so they just threw the Bible in there to help them with that too. And uh, so it's knowledge and it's art and it's music and it's just, this place is magical. So this little place is not your ordinary gazebo. It has coffee, but if you look, it's got the coolest things. This is Chautauqua in the past. So there was a men's club in 1893. And take a look at the colonnade whenever it was winter time. Oh my goodness. And next, you can see the College of Liberal Arts. And these buildings, like, they're still here. That's what is so cool. And here's the next one. It is um, the pier on the assembly grounds, although I don't think this is here. But did you know that Lake Chautauqua was a place that, um, that the steamboat engines, so the steamboat engines would, would come in and they would uh, they would go through Chautauqua and Chautauqua actually dumps into I forget what river it is but then it goes to the Allegheny down to Pittsburgh and then it goes to the Ohio and it dumps into the Mississippi so from right here at this lake in New York you can get to the Gulf of Mexico how cool is that At one point in time this had nothing to do with any of what Chautauqua was they had a roller coaster it only lasted four years, because I guess there wasn't much education to that. So it's really raining now, but so we're walking down this really cool street and like it's little, like these little streets, I can't imagine what it's like when there's a bunch of people here. A lot of people are gone because it's um, past the summer season, but we're coming up on the amphitheater now, which is super cool. Like the acoustics in it are just amazing. But to think, that like, so Teddy Roosevelt, right? Teddy Roosevelt, the president way back when, he actually did a speech here at this amphitheater. I mean, it's amazing to me to think that we're in a place that he spoke, that he, he gave a chat and it was his, his talk against war. I mean, when you go to Washington DC and you see the memorial, you hear, about that actual talk. Like, this is just amazing. I am so excited that we got to meet her. I think that she's gonna be like my new best friend. Look at her! <laughs> so, this is a really cool hotel. It looks like you're, like you're really coming back in time, but it is one of two steamboat hotels left on Chautauqua Lake. Today it looks like there's a little wedding going on. They didn't invite us, they're really dressed up, and I bet Dave won't let us crash, but eh, we'll see. Okay, so we are at the part where um, they have music students, right, that come here, like famous music students, and you'll see there's like these little houses. And no, like they're not Airbnbs, but they're actually soundproof. Like, so all the different instruments that would be like in an orchestra can practice, as you can see, whatever they need to practice in a soundproof room. And then when they get together, they can all come together. They go to the big amphitheater or there's actually an opera house here and they play. It's just, this place is so cool. Got our friend Mel and my new best friend, Laura. And y'all know Dave. Talk to you later. What's your favorite music to play? <laughs> Man, I wonder who Gershwin is. So, I know, because I pulled it up on my Google. So George Gershwin is, an, is important for his great talent as a melodist, which is apparently a word, in both popular <laughs> and classical genres, and for his chamber and orchestral work. Man, you read that well. Did God. I? Thank you. That. We're going to have to have her in more videos. <laughs>
made it back from Chautauqua Lake. It's a good weekend. I'm completely exhausted. Three more days and we're headed to California.